Here's everything you need to know about the international EMV, including an in-cab driving experience and real impressions from test drivers. This video was filmed at the Advanced Clean Transportation Expo. For more coverage from this show, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss another video. I'm Bruce Fassbinder, Director of Segment Marketing for the Medium Duty Product Center at International Truck. The truck behind us is what we call our International EMV. We offer a Class 6 and a Class 7, approximately up to 135 mile range. We have some trucks going longer than that. It's really load dependent and it has a maximum charge rate of 125 kilowatts per hour. At 125, you can charge in about 80 minutes. Right now, we've come out with a pusher setup. It uses a Dana TM4 motor. The available horsepower is 342 peak, 255 continuous. So it's very much so got the drivability of a diesel, but with an electric vehicle. The biggest selling point is it's very similar to our MV. And we did that intentionally, so there's not a whole lot of transition difference for an operator. From a perspective of where we have an advantage, we have a very reliable, proven system with the Dana TM4 motor. That's an industrial motor that's been in application for a couple of decades. We're working on e-axles and some other stuff that will be additional product offerings over the next year and a half to four years. We've done a lot in regards to applications. The truck behind us is Drive Van. We also have at this show brought out refrigerated vehicles, ETRUs. We also have done utility bucket trucks. We've done dump trucks. We have an EPTO as well as an e-power option. EPTO is for people that are typically running hydraulics like a bucket truck or dump. And the e-power is more of a solution for like shredder type applications or ETRUs as well as we worked with our body integrators and they have body integrated solutions that are independent of the main propulsive batteries. So we have a lot of options to work with, so we just encourage people to come have a conversation and work through the consulting process with, with us and help us to understand how we can help you. My name is Mitch Trom. I work for a textile care laundry facility up in Rochester, Minnesota. My name is Justin Hart. I'm the owner of Justin Time Moving and Storage in Phoenix, Arizona. Nice setup in the cab. It had a similar feel to the international trucks that we've had previously. The international seemed like it was one that had probably the most features as far as having adjustable regenerative braking. Just kind of softened the amount of braking you get when you take your foot off the accelerator. That was really kind of nice. There's three degrees of regenerative braking as well as you can turn it off if need be. Negative would brake regen and that's putting power back into the batteries. So when I'm on the accelerator pedal, you would get propulsive load and when you're putting power back in to the battery, you'd be down in this negative percentile. And it's a one pedal drive type scenario. So as you're going down the road, if I come up on a stoplight, you'll see that I can just drop the accelerator pedal and it'll bring me almost a complete stop without even touching the service brakes. Other than that, very fast, very powerful. You got a lot of acceleration and very quiet and smooth. We're doing approximately 30 mile an hour and there's literally no noise inside the truck. It had great pickup, great torque, very smooth. It kind of feels like it's stuck to the ground and you know, from a center of gravity point of view, that truck had great turning radius. And you'll see it, it does a U-turn pretty good as well, so. At this point, we're not really looking at transitioning. I think we have to wait for technology to catch up a little bit. We've always got a lot of sub-zero weather up in Minnesota. At 20 below for our couple months we have in January, February, we just can't get the distance we need for our vehicles. Once you're traveling with the lights on, the heat on, it's just a little bit too cold up there for this technology right now. But if I had to choose kind of the disadvantage of the International at this point is that it only had a range of about 135 miles, whereas the EM2 has like 185 mile plastics range. So that's one thing to think about, but at this point, just looking for all the different OEMs and figuring out what the best solution for us is. We believe the battery electric is the technology of the future. We are working with a small fleet of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, but right now we believe the battery capacities will grow, the technology will get there, and we'll be able to do all the applications with battery electric. 
for the latest in clean transportation, subscribe to our daily newsletter by clicking the link below.